What is going on guys, it's Cyndaquil Phil here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. This is episode, uh, 5, I was gonna say 3, of this Let's Play we are doing. Uh, so far we have, um, just gone through the region, and we're going to go into Parfum Palace, but so far we have Draco, Wonderfrau, Pudge, Jumbo, Frogger, Galar, and that's it. And on Galar, we got last episode, which is the bold nature, which isn't the best nature, but it's still a pretty prominent physical attacker, and it'll be a great addition to our team. But anyway, we're going to uh, restore, we're just going to heal up uh, Galar real quick. I know Sword and Shield are already out, it's been a while, it's been about a week since I last recorded, I think, and uploaded. And we have another encounter, that's okay. Take a drink real quick. And we can just KO this, uh, Oddish right here. You don't really need to let it live. You suck, you Oddish! Alright, yeah, you can die, but that's okay. I'm also sick, so if I sound terrible, that's why. I can actually only hear on my, like, my, uh, left ear right now, it seems like, because, yeah, my ear is plugged. Because I'm sick. Woo! It's kind of weird, it's a weird feeling. Only being able to hear out of one ear. <laughs> or really, like, I can still hear out of the ear, but, yeah, it's weird. Feels out clogged, but I don't think you guys want to hear about that. Let's go get this Elixir or Ether that's up here. It's an Ether. And we're going to take on Par from Palace. So, uh, let's go right here. The entrance fee will be one thousand Poké Dollars per person. You've gotta be kidding! It costs money to go inside? You see, the- oh, sorry. You see, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeesh! That's how the rich get richer! Here's the entrance fee! One thousand Poké Dollars. Why? You- Why, I never- you don't even have a thousand Poké Dollars. Yeah. Well, I suppose I can still let you in. Just act natural. Yeah, I'll act natural. Alright. Opening very slowly. Alright, see ya, Bianca. And now we're gonna just skate over there. We're gonna go very slowly. Got some moves to us. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, round two, go this way, and try to avoid- Ah, dang it. Alright. Where is it? Where could it be? My Furfrau! My beloved little Furfrau has disappeared. Hey, it disappeared? Hey, Big P! We should go and help look. Yeah, is your Pokemon you'd be worried to- Okay, we're going to put, uh, our Wonderfrau in front. Actually, well, let's keep Draco in front. Actually, we're going to not keep Draco out front. We want to uh, give Froggart some levels. Because we want Froggart to evolve, and we also want Draco to evolve. But first, we're going to go up here, and there is uh, a certain item we can get that will help us increase our money. Now, you might know what it is, but uh, yeah, we're going to get the Amulet Coin. Because the Amulet Coin doubles the amount of money you receive from battles. If you guys didn't know that. Although, I'm pretty sure a lot of people that watch my channel have, uh, been playing Pokemon for a little bit. There might be some of you who haven't, and just following along with my playthrough, but more of a Nuzlocke-type variant. Which I didn't really explain what a Nuzlocke is, but, uh, basically, you catch one Pokemon every single route, and if they faint, they are dead, you cannot use them again, they may be placed in the box or released. And yeah, that's about it. There's a Golurk. A Golurk, and a Trainer, and a Palpitoad, so cool. And then here's Bianca. I'll have a look in the back. I'm gonna take a drink. Alright, we're also gonna get the HM for Cut, which is also in here. It is right here. Philip found HMO Cut. HMO1 Cut, not HMO Cut. 
Also, there's a super potion right here, I think. Yeah. Alright, we're going to run this way. Run this way. Then we're going to go right here. Here's our fur frow. I wonder if it's a guy's fur frow. Oof! I mostly just have a head cold. Please don't run away! Big P, give me a hand! No, I'm good, man. But, uh, I guess. Fine! You're so demanding, Shauna. Jeez. Like, there. Like, the fur frow's not even in here right now. You just showed the whole place. The fur frow's not there. Okay, so we're gonna get the fur frow to come here. Stay here. Wait, no. We want her to go right here. And now we can go like this. Trap it that way. And now we can go talk to Shauna. And she is going to wait over here. Or over on the other side if you want. Where should we wait? We'll wait right there. And then we're going to go up this way. Ah, gotcha! All right. There we go. We found the fur frow and caught it. Woo! We finally done it. We caught it. Big P, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. Oh, my dear fur frow. My beloved fur frow. Could you be... Could you two be responsible for my wonderful reunion with my dear fur frow? How wonderful indeed! That's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show. Boom boom! My Pokemon and I are reunited. A bond has been proven. We'll communicate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for two of you. Resendevinus. Perfect. Tell it's had commentary. Maybe Fervor would have been better if we hadn't found it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. But I really love fireworks. Let's make the best of it. Alright, we're going to get out of here. Actually, I think there's a few items in here, but I don't feel like getting them right now. So I think we're under leveled, like, for, like, the area we're in, to be honest. I'm also thinking right now. We also get that static Snorlax soon, which should be awesome. I want a Snorlax. I love Snorlax. All right, we're going to go up to the second floor like we did before. Or we're going to go this way. I don't know. It just seems convenient. I already started running this way. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. The mirrors in the hallway reflect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, oh, here we are, out onto the balcony. And look at this little Dratini statue. Hello, Dratini, you're so cute. And hello, other Dratini, you're also so cute. And here's Bianca, who is not so cute. Ooh, nice music. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. A winky face, ooh, ooh. And then they're gonna give us a TM for protect. <laughs> That's one of the innuendos they had. We haven't seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Cause I watched them with you. Philip. That's my name. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't need to whisper it into the microphone like that. Oh, fireworks in the daytime, you can barely see them. That's my thighs. That's, yeah. Wow, that, that was beautiful. <laughs> Shit, it's here. <laughs> okay. Wow. That was amazing. I never want to forget this. I'll keep this in the memory. I'll keep this memory in the album of my heart. Oh. <laughs> Shauna. Shauna. My boy. Almost forgot. About what? I just remember we need to take a... <laughs> just remember we need the poker flute to wake up. Let's go get it. It was Shamanu Castle's treasure, but I took it as a payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't go together. Is that why you're such a dink? Give it to him. Here's the Poke Flute. 
Philip obtained the Poke Flute. Oh, yeah. Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey. But I think I'll try and forget about him. Oh my god, Shana. You can't imagine. Sorry. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. But maybe so, but. Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about May Evolution? I remember reading a book in this subject in the palace library. It has something to do when you hook. When, when a trainer. Okay, whatever. We don't really need to know about Mega Evolution. We'll learn that later. And we got the TM for protection after going on a date with Shauna. Ooh, woo. What do you mean protection? Oh, I know why. Okay, let's continue on. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. She might battle some trainers on the way back. Because we will need some EXP. Did I give you it already? I did, okay. So we're going to go uh, battle some trainers outside of Shabanu Castle. Or no, Parfum Palace, not Shabanu Castle. Here's a Melodic. I like Melodic. I really want to use one someday, like, like competitively. We're going to go speedy, Woo! Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, I gotta follow the rainbow. I can't sing. Oh, she'll share a word berry with us. Thank you, lady. I appreciate it. Do, 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 do. I actually might be able to get an uh, Audino encounter. Should be very useful if we found an Audino. So we can just level up Pokemon with that. Oh, it's a Venipede. That's fine. Oh, uh, we'll just KO this. What a bolts! Bam! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay, hurt yourself! Hurt yourself! No! Are right, you used to reach? That's fine. I'm not counting this as a static encounter. Be well, I could, but I already killed it. Whatever. Get out of here, Venipede. Nobody care about you. Cause I'm feeling 22. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, there's another encounter. Will it be an Audino? That'd be helpful for experience. Go away, Venipede. I don't want you. I'm not shiny hunting, so I don't want encounters. <laughs> Actually, I do some shiny hunting pretty often. Or not, like, not often as of recently. I want to do more shiny hunting more recently. I actually want to do a Christmas hunt, which I actually completed my white 2 version, like the main story. So I could probably do some random encounters in Giant Chasm, excuse me, Giant Chasm, for a Christmas themed, uh, shiny hunt. Oh, Jumbo's learning Fury Swipes. We'll forget, excuse me, I keep on hiccuping and burping at the same time. We'll forget Scratch for Fury Swipes. Alright, we're gonna continue on. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll skip that trader for now. Alright, we're going to go this way. We're gonna get that Snorlax encounter. This is a static encounter, by the way, guys. Because it's overworld. And uh yeah. You actually did you actually manage to borrow the the poker flute? Fill the around with the Poke Flute. Alright. Um, no, we're not ready yet. So we're going to, uh, heal up. Um, actually, we might want to take on at least one trainer with Draco so we can learn Dragon Rage. Because we want to learn Dragon Rage before we take on something. Like, before we take on a Snorlax. So we can just whittle it down a lot easier. That'll be a lot better. So we're gonna take on this trainer. Let's lead with Draco, and hopefully things will go well for us. Here's the Pikachu. Ah, Pikachu. Yeah, cool guy. Gal, sorry. 
We're going to ember you. We're going to burn you. Scald you. Not scald. We're going to scorch you. Ooh. I like the sound of scorch. Like Santa Scorch, which is this really cool Pokemon that I want to use in my sword team. When I play our sword shield team. If I play sword shield in the near future. Draco's level 16. It's going to learn Dragon Rage. Oh yeah. We're going to forget Growl for that. There we go. Actually, we're going to switch uh, Draco out. We're going to go to Froggart. Because we want Froggart to evolve as well. And this is a good opportunity for uh, Froggart to evolve. There's a normal Psyduck. Well, yeah, of course it's a normal Psyduck. They wouldn't have a shiny Psyduck. I'm not sure why I said that. <laughs> and we're going to go for a quick attack. Bang. Tail Whip. Ooh, Spook. I've actually been playing through Omega Ruby again recently. Although, I did restart my uh, Omega Ruby file. But, uh, yeah. I've actually been enjoying it. I've been enjoying not having to do, like, a se like a playthrough where that's a series. Which I haven't been doing for a while. And actually, I missed it, so that's why I did that. Galar? Let's learn Pursuit. Yeah, we'll learn Pursuit. I like that. We're gonna forget a uh, metal sound, because we don't really need it. It lowered a special defense, which you want. Uh, Gatler's a physical attacker right now. So you want it to learn, uh, like, not really leer, but like if, uh, if we learned leer, that'd be good. I actually don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Bang! Oh my god, we just one shot at a Pidgey. It was a crit, but. Jeez, Frogger Relentless. Alright. And Frogger's going to evolve for Frogger to level 13. What? We got 1,700. That's pretty good for right now. And now Draco is evolving. Oh yeah, first evolution of the series. Let's go. I think it's the first evolution. Let's get our shiny. No, not shiny. Why is it shiny? Let's get our Charmeleon. And now we got Charmeleon, a powerful Charmeleon, here with us. Draco evolves into Charmeleon. And now we're also going to get another evolution right after that. We're going to get Froggart evolving into a Frogadier, which is awesome. It's just an evolution-filled episode. I like it. Oh yeah. Froggart evolved into Frogadier. They're just still named Froggart. Alright, that's all we need to do. So we're going to go back. And we're going to go take on Snorlax now. And actually, we're going to, uh... Well, we're going to take on Snorlax, and then we'll probably get our encounter for this route as well. Alright, we're ready. We're ready. Come on. Bring on the Snorlax. we got to be quiet. we got to be quiet. Let him get. Huh? Snorlax opened his eyes wide. I don't see them very open. <laughs> Alright. So here we go. We got a Snorlax right here. And we're gonna send in Draco. See, we want a Dragon Rage because uh, Snorlax has a lot of HP. Like, that was one Dragon Rage. And if we go for another one, it should get it into red. And then we can actually use this thing, too. Which I will replace for, uh, Wonderfrau. And there we go. And now we're gonna throw balls at its face. Alright. And we're gonna throw just a Pokeball. We'll throw a generic Pokeball. Hopefully we catch it. I really wanna use Snorlax. What? Broke out. Okay. Use Lick. Okay. Why are you licking my Charmeleon, my Draco? Alright, we're gonna throw another Pokeball at it.
One, two, three. There we go! Cut us some relax. Oh, uh, what am I gonna name this? I kinda wanna name it Chubb or Hamish. I almost name it Chubb. I like the name Chubb. And Pudge is level 17. And let's learn Whirlwind. We're not gonna learn Whirlwind because we don't want to get anything out necessarily. Actually, uh, Pudgy or Pudge evolves in one more level. I run and give a nickname to Snorlax, and we're gonna name it Chubb. This is a female Snorlax too. Nice. All right. Chubb has been sent to box one. Awesome! You can't Snorlax. Grr. Oh. Ah. Oh. The only thing I can do with that poke flute is put it on display. You've been playing it since you were little. And the tone is lovely. It seems Furfur also likes the sound of that flute. Flute. Not as much as it loves my beautiful, wonderful fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, you sounded better back in the day. So I'll, I'll let you take care of that flute. So be sure to practice more. <laughs> Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever! All's well that ends well. I wonder what's past the Snorlax like I'm sleeping. Okay, we're gonna get one more encounter for uh, this episode. We're gonna go into Pokemon Daycare, and then we're gonna end the episode off. So our first encounter for the Daycare is gonna be... A Krogunk! Yo! Oh, yes! Oh, I love this! Yes, please! I'm gonna go for the stretch because I don't know if it has over 40 HP. Oh, don't, no, 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 no. Ooh, that scared me. That was a crit. Okay. We're gonna switch out because uh, I want to keep it safe. Don't want to lose uh, Draco here. Switch into Pudge. Take a drink of coffee. Poison Sting. I actually think we're gonna use this thing too. I've actually never used a Krogunk before. Okay, I think that's all we need to do. So we're gonna just uh, throw a Luxury Ball. We'll throw a Luxury Ball. Got one, two, three. Booyah! There we go! Alright, what are we gonna name this? I actually don't know. Inflating its poison sacks, it fills the area with an odd sound that hits flinching opponents with a poison jab. I'm gonna name this Big Mouth, because it has a big. I'm gonna name this Cheeks. We'll name this Cheeks, because like when it when we encountered it, it had big cheeks. We're naming this Cheeks. I like the name Cheeks for a crow gunk. Alright, there we go. Cheeks was at our sentence box one. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. And uh here's Tierno and Trevor. Oh hi, Big P. Trevor said he wanted to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. Fine. <laughs> Alright. This is this is a Pokemon bike care. They take care of Pokemon here for you. Yes indeed. You can leave po up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember that something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. All right, whatever. Let's uh, maybe some other time. Maybe I'll do some uh, Mistuna method in uh, Gen Six sometime. But first, we're gonna go talk to the PC box because we're weirdos and we like to talk to it. Also, these four Pokemon were from my Omega Ruby version. So these are not encounters. I did actually uh, end up uh, actually uh, getting rid of. 
few of our encounters, but that's okay. Because we don't really like we weren't really gonna use them to be honest. So we're gonna just we got gentle thick fat and naughty anticipation. So we're gonna put you on the team. Switch you out for Wonder Frau. We'll put Cheeks on the team too. Uh who do you want to replace? We'll replace uh Jumbo, because we haven't really been using Jumbo in a it's a Leaf Zone Evolution. I don't really like it as much. But uh, anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.